Randy and Jackie, what we found are all public records, written documents that help tell a tale some may not want you to hear. Evansville business owner Richard Reese can be seen here in a military uniform and the car he drives seen sporting a military designated license plate. So why couldn't we find any record of military service for Reese? We wanted to find out. But I, I was heated, I know, I mean, it just, it just, it's wrong. If you wanted to enlist, you should have. It makes me mad. Veterans earn the right to wear this uniform. They have the right to display their earned patriotism. So when people falsify military claims or embellish their records, it's taken very seriously. When 14 News received this email titled Stolen Valor on May 20th, claiming you're going to want to hear this story, we took notice. The Stolen Valor claims surround Richard Reese, a man who has identified himself to 14 News as the owner of the former Ground Zero Fitness Gym that used to be open on Weinbach Avenue. We received these pictures, a black Camaro with a veteran designated license plate driven by Richard Reese. His Facebook page used to have several pictures of that same car. Jason Coker, a U.S. Army veteran deployed to Iraq in 2005 as a nuclear biological chemical agent specialist used to belong to Richard's gym and he alerted us that Richard's military service might not exist. I pull up, lo and behold, what do I see? I see the Camaro that he's been driving. You know, at first it had the temporary tags. Well, now those temporary tags were replaced with Kentucky issued veteran plates and uh, I didn't go in. I was pissed. Jason alerted us. He also alerted the organizations called Guardian of Valor and Green Beret Posers Exposed, who we learned already had run-ins with Reese in 2015. According to Guardian of Valor, they confronted Reese, who they say promised to stop wearing military gear. Um, the reason we looked at Richard, uh, he was actually approached by Green Beret Posers Exposed a year ago for claiming to be a Green Beret in the United States Army. Uh, with his age and everything and the time that he claimed to have served, there's no way he could have been a Green Beret. And I moved forward with it to find that he was still telling those lies and using that fake title to advance his business. We submitted two public records requests to the National Personnel Records Center in St. Louis, Missouri, with Richard's full name and birth date from public record. And both times we got these letters saying the registry showed no military service by anyone under that name. There's a sacrifice that's made to wear the uniform. And, it's, and he, he, he has never made that sacrifice. These pictures were sent to us by the individuals behind Green Beret Posers Exposed. They say the pictures show Mr. Reese in U.S. Army uniforms with Special Forces tags on his shoulder. Fakiness and faking, they're always, they're always faking Special Forces. If we can't find records of military service, how does Mr. Reese have veteran issued license plates? You're supposed to supply paperwork proving you're a veteran. Our investigation discovered that paperwork was never filed. I came here to the Henderson County Clerk's Office with the license plate number for that black Camaro and it wasn't until we started asking questions that the mistake was discovered. The certificate of registration for that Camaro shows a veteran issued plate, but the correct forms to prove military service weren't in the file. The vehicle is also registered to two people, a woman and another person described as the owner of Ground Zero Fitness. After we alerted them to this problem, the vehicle department supervisor where that plate was issued immediately called the number associated with it and requested the owner bring the plate back which he did. According to that supervisor, the owner said he would bring the correct military record forms in, but to this day, he never has. People sweat, they die, they cry, they fight to do this, to wear that uniform. And for someone to go and use that to make themselves look better, they're just, it's just a pathetic, sad person.
I've emailed and called Mr. Reese repeatedly over the past three months offering him a chance to speak. He's never agreed to be interviewed. We sent a certified letter to Mr. Reese with our questions. His attorney, John Goodrich, sent us this letter back. In it, the attorney says Mr. Reese's display of military memorabilia is protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, even if others find it unpopular. He did not confirm or deny whether Reese falsely portrayed himself as a veteran, saying only that, quote, there can be no allegation that Mr. Reese has benefited materially from any display, whether public or private, of his ownership of any military memorabilia. He's lied to everybody in the community. Because of a viewer's tip, which led to our investigation, Mr. Reese no longer has that veteran issued license plate. A civil complaint against Reese claiming he did not pay a $10,000 bill for that Ground Zero Fitness gym was filed in October. Today, we received word that Rice's former gym has been purchased by a completely new owner who was operating a new gym at the same location. Jess Powers, 14 News.